All right, so this is something that I've been wanting to try, which is to use Emilia, Margaret, and Merlin. Basically, you know, I'm I'm switching over the uh, the goddess Liz from this build and inserting Margaret instead. Um, let's see how this will go. Playing geared, because I felt like it would be the pl the best place to go with this team, but may honestly, I think it could be either way. The only reason why is just because I really like much better Margaret and Geared, uh, just because I can, you know, use attack crit. Wow, it's a demon team with no assault value. <laughs> that is irregular, to say the least. Okay. So I can technically just do whatever I want here. I don't have to worry about Salt Melee. Biggest issue, though, is Estorosa will not care about my freeze. See, if I'm using Goddess Liz... Um, oh my god, that's so lucky, actually. I get level 3 for Margaret. If I'm using God... <clears throat> oh, I just... Just uh, coughed there for a second. If I'm using Goddess Liz... I can remove stances. He won't get stunned because it's too immune, but I can at least remove the stance part of it. But in my case here, I'm switching her over, so... That was actually quite decent damage. I'm not even gonna hit on that. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Um, this will cleanse Merlin. So I wanna see how much damage she does here on the blue type. Go cleanse Merlin, we increase my damage by 50%. 142 kills him, but of course he got revived. Let's hope he doesn't have a takeoff ultimate gauge. He apparently does. Okay, Sedge. He is actually hitting me decently hard. Oh, I might die. He actually hit me decently hard. Just from the fact that this, this will kill him. Just from the fact that I was increasing my HP. I'll kill him. He freezes Torosa. That was actually pretty interesting. And he, he he's not even using his hot in the back. This is a a full. Assaultless melee. <laughs> Assaultless melee. Demon build. They're incredible. I don't think I've ever seen this. I mean, maybe, you know, back in the day, before Assault melee. I don't think I've seen this in a while, actually. Alright. We can, um... This time, freeze you, and then... I'll go for the stun instead of the freeze, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Attack lowered, might knock you out. Never mind. You know the the one thing I absolutely despise about Margaret though? And you know, using using um Emilia now, I really think about it. I wish Margaret, instead of making a new Grace, had the same Grace as the other Ludociao. Because the other Ludociao. I'm gonna go for this. If I had the other Lucio Grace, I would not have to worry about, like, you know, stun or anything for the first two turns. And I think it's much more practical than the Grace that she has, because her Grace is very specific. Like, yeah, I'm facing Draw right now, so they have buffs and stuff, but a lot of teams don't have buffs, you know? Like, the, the most usual team in the game is Goddess Liz, and I, right now... I would actually use Ludociel Grace on Emilia, but that's fine, I can cleanse. Um, the most usual team in the game, of course, is Goddess Liz, The One, and Green Galfrey. And that team, the only time they're buffing is if some reason, for some reason, he has like a level 3 Galfrey card, which is not very usual. Or, like the shield, fair enough. Then I get like 15% attack because each person has a buff. While, you know, the freeze thing is just so useful that I think that I wish I had an option, at least, um, for which one I want. 
you know? Do I want to use the extra damage against buffs? Or, you know, not extra damage against buffs, but you get extra attack. Ooh, that's level 3. I don't even recall him marking up Margaret. Maybe he did. Uh, he cleansed the, uh, the effect as well. Mm. Which one should freeze? Margaret or Gelfer? I think... I think Margaret might die, so I'm gonna go for the Frozen Gelfer. Yeah, okay. You know, do, which one do I want? You know, do I want to get the extra damage, or the extra attack if the enemy has buffs? Or do I want the, um, the ability to not be frozen? Especially now, because she cleanses, right? If I can get her to not be frozen or stunned in the first two turns, I can cleanse any time that I want and not be penalized by anything. We're gonna increase the damage first. So I don't know, I, I feel like um, keeping the other Ludo Grace would have been like better than uh, getting this one or giving me the option because I would prefer honestly the other the other Grace. So I'm, I'm cutting into like this bot bun I just faced because I wanted to talk about the... Uh, I was actually pretty excited to face it. Oh, I should have used the blue card, it's fine. It's gonna kill anyways. I was actually pretty excited to face a Bon, but then it's a, it was a bot, and bot Bonds are insanely stupid. And, you know, and the, the, the bot problem, like, I just, I just, I'm struggling every day to find real players. It's, be, like, honestly, oh, that, that Ludo is beefy. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like, when Margaret came out, like, a, a you know, the first two weeks that Margaret came out, I was actually non-stop finding real players. It wasn't unfortunate timing because that that's when I got, got sick. So I wasn't really recording, but I was, I was playing PvP regularly. Um, and I was just finding real players because I guess Margaret was a pretty ex exciting festival. And more people were playing, but right now, maybe because no one cares about Ku No one's using Kusak. Like, again, we, we faced one, but it's very rare to find one. Because maybe not as many people are trying. The new unit, it's harder to find real players, but it, it's getting rough, man. <laughs> and someone said, and it, it is true, you should play, someone said I should play right after reset. And it is true, you do find more players after reset, but like today, for example, I was busy. I, I, I couldn't play, for me, the reset's at 4 p.m. I, I had got, I just actually got a new PC, and... You know, I had the whole process of installing it, and I had to install my girlfriend's new PC. Um, so I, was, I, I just couldn't play at that time. And even if, even if I did, even when I do play right after reset, it's still a 50-50 if I'm going to be facing real players or not. It, it's still not guaranteed. Not even 50-50, it's like 75 to 25. 75% chance of facing bots. Okay, don't kill. See, honestly, I'm not really... That big of a fan of this build that I made here with Margaret. I'm, I'm starting to feel like um, I could be having a better time. Actually, the opposite. I could be having a better time just using Goddess Liz because most of the work is coming from uh, Merlin and Emilia. And honestly, Margaret is not getting anything to do because the blue card is cool, right? But honestly, I don't even know when to use in, in the situations I'm facing here. I guess now I'll be able to choose the AoE, but maybe because this match I got very unlucky with the cards. Like, I, I haven't got many Margaret cards, but I feel like I don't need her. You know what I mean? Like, she's really not necessary for the build. I'm going for the freeze just in case I don't kill Sauriel. It's not really necessary for the build. And neither is like Goddess Liz. Like Goddess Liz is like she's just there for the revive and the extra stun. Margaret is not doing much. So I was actually thinking, oh my god, 309. Wow that's a lot. That that's like full HP defense. I would actually get like similar CC if I was using HP defense on Merlin and Margaret, but you know I'm not. Um, I was thinking, right, maybe I should replace Emilia with Goddess Liz. 
But at the same time, it's like the freeze is so broken because, you know, stun is great. Don't get me wrong, but you need a level two. <laughs> the freeze is boppity boo, level one. Who cares? You know. Goddess team. Goddess team is really good. Honestly, I I, I haven't get, been giving enough credit to the Goddess team. I made a video and all, but which is at the top left there. <laughs> but honestly, it's it's just really good. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to go for Breaking the Shield and Freezing Margaret. Only reason for... I hope I actually do Break the Shield. I, it doesn't... It doesn't matter actually to Break the Shield right now. I just realized. The Freeze... Again, bypass... Another point for the Freeze over the stun. The Freeze bypasses Shield. I'm stupid. Margaret had a level 2 card. I just didn't want to cleanse. No freeze. That's okay though, I think. Mm. He's, going for, he's going for Time Nails Ultimate. Wow. Wait for Merlin's ultimate. I should have used Emilia's card. What I should have done past turn was I going for the freeze because I, I wanted to uh, disable the blue card. I should have actually used Merlin's AoE to break the shield or Margaret's. Probably Merlin, actually. Merlin hits harder. Um, trash attack with advantage. And then attack with Emilia. So you would prevent him from ulting this turn. But I didn't do that and that was just dumb. It was really stupid of me. He's gonna stun. That's not good. Okay. That's fine, I can cleanse. But... I don't like the fact that my, uh, my Margaret is very weak. We're gonna ult. Should I attack afterwards or go for the freeze? Kinda wanna heal. Oh, but the Margaret AoE might actually kill my Margaret. Mm. No. The AoE was a good option. Okay, I killed Goddess Liz. I was hoping you would also kill Margaret. But it did. Well, this match, I've been doing so many misplays. But it's been working out, honestly, just because my team is better. <laughs> just because my team is better. Because honestly, right here, one mistake he did is he's using Saura in the back. Now, Saura is a great unit, don't get me wrong. But his passive doesn't work in the back. And so it's very stupid to use him in the back. What he should be using instead was blue gill thunder. If he had blue gill thunder, he would have wiped me. And this is why the goddess team, honestly, with blue gill thunder works much better. Right now, the goddess team actually has two really good builds. If you're gonna run the full goddess build, is it the same person? No. If you're gonna run the full goddess in the front, you either use the blue gill, right, for the for the old damage of Tarmio, or if you wanna get creative, Ellie Hawk works wonders for facing other margarets now again if you face oh this is a bot look at how much damage <laughs> liz took <laughs> let me finish my sentence and we move on um the the ellie hawk in the back if you face other margarets it adds up right to the damage reduction so you're not taking aoe damage from the enemy margarets which is great now in this situation where, you know, Merlin is involved in her single turn. Why? Why do I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage as well? What, what was that? Margaret is involved. She, you know, I'm oh, sorry, Merlin's involved. She's going to be doing so much damage. Like, you know, Merlin's Merlin. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the blue card. This will guarantee kill. And I think this will kill as well. 
with the extra damage. You know, the, the, the damage reduction is not gonna protect you from Merlin. Are you getting like... Oh, that did not kill. Wow. You're getting like 10% damage reduction. Um, or 20 in this case right here, because we have 200 in the fight. So I guess, I guess you are getting some damage reduction. Honestly, the more time passes, the more... Uh, honestly, with Margaret's release, that Ellie Hawk has gained a lot of value. Because um, if you face other Margaret's, it's a great, great unit to help you tank. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful sight. I can freeze everyone. <laughs> One's already frozen. Because he attacked twice. And did not kill my Margaret. Look at that. And now I have two one-shot ultimates. Because you, you saw Merlin's ultimate last match. Merlin's ultimate at 6-6 six, six just hits like a truck. It really does. Especially because I, I, I have max HP, right? I had max HP last match. Does that matter for the ultimate or is it only for the cards? I feel like it matters for the ultimate. I do feel like it does. I feel like it does. But yeah. Merlin, Merlin honestly is kind of OP. So I was actually going to continue talking about the problems of using Ellie Hawk. Biggest issue really is um, if you face the one, which honestly we're not facing many of the ones right now. Which is insane because the one is still the most popular team. Um, if you face the one, you're not getting much damage reduction out of it. I kind of want to... Kind of want to freeze this Torilson, just so he can't haunt me. Oh, I forgot about the attack weakening. No, attack weakening. No, it's fine. Um, you're not getting much damage reduction out of it. If, of course, you're facing the one, which we're we're luckily not facing him, or unluckily, I don't know. Depends on the perspective. Honestly, I think I feel like this team crushes the one. So it is a little unfortunate that we're not facing him, but that's fine. Oh, this is a bot. A real player would not have attacked, he would have used the counter card. Which would have been a much better option. Well, it's okay. This is a great build, by the way. I might actually check it out um, later. Might actually make a video on it. Because uh, you you force Tarmiel's ultimate, you're getting stats for both Tarmiel and uh, and Margaret, and then you have the protection of Estorosa giving immunity to uh, Tarmiel. Plus, of course, taunt. taunt. Estorosa's taunt is phenomenal, right? Green Gill in the back. You could go with either Blue Gill or Green Gill, but of course, Green Gill provides extra defense for Estorosa, which is good. I actually just made. Um, HP defense gear for Estorosa. So I think if, if I did this build, I would actually use HP defense for Estorosa. Only because... Um, I don't think I would need Estorosa's attack. Uh, honestly, uh, getting some damage out of Estorosa's attack card wouldn't be the worst. Just because uh, with the Margarets around... It could be great, having a uh, good damage dealing green single target. I'll think about it, but this team is actually not bad. Okay, I'm struggling to find a real player. If there's not, it is a real player, 280k, there's no way. If this is a bot, Jesus, this is a very strong bot. Okay, it's not a bot. Nice. So we're gonna go with this right here, actually. Um... I was actually struggling to find a real player, so I was, was non-stop playing bot matches. That's okay, though. We're gonna freeze the draw. Actually, I should have frozen Galfer. I was kind of scared that he already had a uh, debuff card, which is why I froze draw instead of Galfer. But in hindsight, maybe I should have frozen Galfer instead. That's okay though, we're already gonna go with the blue card for extra damage, we're gonna seal their healing. I hope this actually... It should break the shield, right? 
I don't want to risk it. We're going to go for, for Drill. I, I, I want to kill Drill. Because he actually can goof me up a lot by sealing my uh, my freezes and stuff. It did not break the shield. But it was, it was the correct thing to do. Go for Drill. Okay, I'm not actually so scared of Drill right now because my Merlin is doing phenomenal here. My Merlin is actually popping off. So he's going to rank up Drill, of course. To seal... Interesting. To seal me from level 3. That's annoying, to say the least. To seal me here. Um, the level 2 seemed to have been enough. So we're going to go for this, right? We're going to combine cards with Margaret. AoE. And we're going to hopefully kill Drill here. So with the PvP rule, that means that the, the attacks my Merlin received increase her attack. But... Okay, it did kill. I was a little scared that she wouldn't kill because... Oh my god, of course he combined cards with, with Galfer. Are you kidding me? Of course that had to happen, right? That's okay, I wouldn't even be able to use the ultimate, but that's a lot of damage it's gonna do to me. For free. That's some free damage that he did to me. If my Merlin dies now, I'll be very upset. Okay, she didn't. That's such free damage. For no reason. That pisses me off, honestly. So we're gonna go for this. Um, let's kill the Goddess Liz. I'm actually really upset that that happened. Honestly, it happens way too often. You know? I feel like every... Every video I, I complain that cards combine for someone. And that I, I, I almost lose a match because of your end up losing a match because of the Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. My, how much attack does he get, like his gopher have? Because he's been attacked a lot. So has my Merlin. My Merlin has been tanking so much attacks. So if the PvP were of course you increase attack, almost 30k attack. How much my uh, my Merlin have? 36k. Alright, this should actually kill the Merlin, the, the Gopher, and then we freeze the Zeldris. Alright, this team works, but honestly... It's half and half for me. I, I don't think Margaret enhanced the team. As much as, you know, I thought maybe she would, I feel like with, with uh, Goddess Liz, I would have achieved the same result. You say I'm not even in the street because I was quitting non-stop matches. I would have achieved the same results with Goddess Liz. But it's not a bad addition. Definitely not. I feel like in this last match, having her over Goddess Liz could have been actually better. Because I did increase my damage. But at the same time, I could have maybe stunned, so I don't know. It's a half and half. Still, Merlin's just phenomenal.